alive? What's going on? I have no memories of anything before this point in time. My mind is tabula rasa, yet I have a language. I seem to be in some laboratory of sorts. Maybe I can find out what happened if I look around. There's a handwritten note here. Maybe it can shed some light on my situation. There's a screwdriver in I love magnets. This oil looks expensive. Let's... Ooh, surgical tools. I smeared some oil on the rusty... I'm free! Another piece of paper. This was written... There's a long stick here. More writings from the long... Another locked door. Let's take a... Look! Another locked door. Let's take a peek through. Let's hope this works. Aha! Just as planned. I got the basement! More letters. Has he figured it out? A couple of cogwheels on the floor. They must have fallen off. Not yet. The doctor is losing it. He's the story is so sad. A beautiful china bowl. It looks- <gasps> A dead- <laughs> It's the body of Dr. Von Trauerschloss. He's dead. And what's more, he There's a letter clutched in his hand. His final words? There's something in his pocket. It's a small, delicate key. He kept it in the pocket closest to his heart. The missing candlestick! This letter is signed Belladonna. I've been waiting to hear the other side of this. There's a bottle of milk out here. I wonder how long it's been. 
one more Belladonna letter. Tombstone says Clara Steber. This must be the grave of the. More letters. This lantern might prove to be the very. <laughs> Belladonna. Look, a Another journal page. I'll let it stand by the fire for a while. It's thawed. The milk is now... The milk pours easily. Let's grind this plant into powder. It's a mortar. Is this how Clara died? The doctor's handwriting. Yes, this should put an end to the gr Look, it's a key. And it has a funny tassel attached to it. No one. This is strange. Let's take a look inside. I wonder if this key fits. There's a key. Coils of rope. I a note.
Flora, it really is you. I was so certain I'd never see you again. You didn't wake up. I... I woke up. I've been wandering lost ever since, trying to find out what's going on. How are you feeling? Do you remember me? I have no memories of you, or of myself. But I found some notes lying around. I can only assume you're the one called Belladonna? I am Belladonna, murdered and reanimated by Dr. Von Trauerschloss. At first a mindless mechanical doll, but I slowly regained control over my brain. And when the time was right, I broke free. I saw the doctor's body. Yes, I crushed his skull. Standing over his blood-soaked remains, I was free at last. But where did I come from? If he was dead, was it you who brought me back? Yes, my love. You were the only thing on my mind as I stood there, alone and victorious. I had secretly watched the doctor's process, and I desperately wanted to believe that I could get you back. I unearthed your grave and carried your dead body down to the laboratory. I did everything right, to the smallest detail, but you didn't wake up. And my time was running out. I can't turn my own key, and now that I was alone in the castle, I knew my life force would run out quickly. But for all my effort, you remained dead, and with no one to keep me vital, I eventually sat down here and just... stopped. But I did wake up. Yes, apparently you did. Your body had been in the ground for quite some time. Perhaps that made the reanimation process slower, but with your key powering your brain directly, you did not have to go through the drawn-out sluggish wake-up. I take it your cognitive powers and language have been with you from the start. Well, yes. Excellent. Then I have even improved on the doctor's method, but I doubt independent thinking and free will was ever in his interest to reproduce. Do you think you could do it again? Create more of us, you mean? Yes, I hold the secret of life and death, and I plan to use it. The experimentations must continue. And the two of us will have no place in this world. Quite right. So, we'll make us a place. Dead bodies will never be in short supply. We'll make more of our kind. A whole new race of the damned. Where do we start? I know for a fact that there's a fresh body lying out there in the Great Hall. The Doctor. His flesh, at least. We won't be using his wretched brain. I've already destroyed it in any case. But the body will do. We will have to find a few other ingredients. Will you help me? I... Of course I will. Thank you, my love. I'll carry the body down to the laboratory and start with the preparations. And in the meantime, you can help me with a few other things. The doctor's brain is completely destroyed. I made sure of that. I don't think any of us want his villainous brain back amongst us. We're going to need to find a new one. Secondly, we will also need some clockwork parts. We have to manufacture a force to keep the dead body going. Thirdly, not only the brain, but also the head and the cranium were damaged. If we can find a new head, that would save a lot of reconstructing effort. I saw a brain preserved in alcohol down in the laboratory. Oh, you did? That's good. That's... Your son? Lucas was never buried. The doctor had the body cremated very quickly and thus incinerated all the evidence that the corpse was not com... And now you want your child back? No, my dear. It's just a brain. I wanted you back, so I took great care to preserve your personality. Clockwork? Yes. We need something to supply the body with the force to move. We can't make the heart beat again, so we use the spring-loaded cl- I see. Thank you. Will we need to find a fresh human head? Yes, I've smashed up the head of Wolfram rather frivolously. I'm afraid it's beyond rescue. I was thinking of my grandmother, Francesca Canosa. I'm sure you've seen her poor- I'll go take a- Thank you. I'll start looking- Thank you. Come talk to me if there's-
this faithful screwdriver will do the trick. Belladonna was right. There is a secret. I'll just... Yes, I can lower the lantern into the hole. Amazing. I can't believe it. It's another letter. Things one does for love. Now to carefully remove the head. The body of a deranged murderer, the decomposed head of an old lady, the brain of a small child. How could this possibly go wrong? Welcome to the Lab of Horrors. I found something else in the crypt. Another note. One I'd written myself when I was alive. I think we need to talk. What is the matter, dear? It's just... I... Um, forget it. It doesn't matter. Let's focus on what we're doing here. Yes, let's get this creation moving. I'll get going. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. The creation is complete. All we need to do now is force life into these dead limbs. That big switch on the wall initiates the- Gladly. has come. I've wanted to pull this thing since the first time I saw it. 